Hi everyone, so welcome back to another video and I'm Kareen for those who don't know and welcome to the Bee family. Stay tuned if you would like to see my winter tips and tricks, so products and tips that help me get through my first winter and what I learned and I'm adapting now for my second winter as a person from the tropics. So stay tuned if you are interested in this video. <music> I came quite prepared so what I'm wearing right now is the first item the first item that I wanted to talk about this is a wearable hoodie blanket so it's quite long it has some cuffed sleeves it's quite fluffy and it also has a hoodie so this is one item that I use indoors to keep me nice and comfy, cozy and warm without having to run my heater for too, too long at a time. The wearable blankets would definitely be my number one suggestion. Um, I did not have this last year. So you'd find that I'll be under the covers and cloaked up, but because I want to be more productive, do some work on my computer, by my desk, I do find that this keeps me nice and warm throughout the day. When my kids are at home, I would run the heater for an hour or two hours. Um, but once I'm home alone, let's just have this cup of tea and I'm perfectly fine. So I actually purchased this item from online home shop and I got them in different sizes and patterns for my entire family. So I got for my daughter, my son, my spouse as well, and we all really love it. We interchange with these and our robes, so it really helps to keep us nice and warm while inside of the flat. So next I'd suggest layers, so when we do have to leave home, wearing sufficient layers so my underneath layer i'll make sure that it's a breathable material and it's quite close and snug to my skin similar to this so this is one of my thermals so i'll wear this as my base layer so a thermal top long sleeve top and the thermal pants i'll wear a second layer so i may wear a joggers as a pants and a simple sweatshirt and usually that's sufficient with a coat but if you experience a negative um degree celsius so let's say anything beneath negative three you may want to add uh, another layer as well so you could add a sweater or a jumper as they call it here and then your um, top layer so for my top layer i like using a long sleeve sorry a um, mid calf coat um, I really think it helps break the wind and keeps me nice and warm it has a hoodie um, you could get the ones with the fur on the hoodie as well and just a high quality so invest in your top layer make sure that it meets all the requirements that helps to keep you warm so if you want one that has an inner fleece lining or if you want one that is um, rainproof so they are ones that are just water resistant but can't handle lots of showers so just do your research and that is one layer I would you know spend sufficient money on especially for kids so same way how I layer my clothes I do the same for my kids and they'd have their mittens um, they'd have their scarf and they would have a hat as well. So those three items helps to keep them nice and warm and some fleece lined socks really helps because your toes, when it gets really cool, there are places that you didn't know could feel that cool and your toes could get so very numb. So when it gets really, really cold or when it's snowing, sometimes I even wear two pairs of socks. So for my scarf, I like a really nice thick scarf. It really doesn't matter once you have something. So 
once you tie it it helps to break wind from you just want to cover all the areas that wind could get into so a long coat some cuffed sleeves and something just to cover your neck and chest um i think that is really helpful um i don't really use air muffs just because i have long hair but if you know you're a guy if you have short hair you could invest in air muffs but once i pull on my hats it's pretty fine um for me so what did we have we have the wearable blankets layers warm socks scarves mitts hats and a proper boots you do not want to be falling so i did i did skate and fall on some black eyes last winter and it was so painful my butt hurt for maybe two weeks afterwards it was besides being embarrassed and it was so painful as well so you really want boots that are um has good grip and is fleece line so i would suggest going in person shopping around trying on making sure that it is comfortable simply because here in the uk you do quite a bit of walking so whether it is walking to school walking to work or walking to catch the bus so you want something that is comfortable and functional and during the winter you want something that has good grips so i'll just show you my winter boots so these are my winter boots by the way none of these items are sponsored i just thought they were helpful so this one i still have the tall one i don't know why but i got it from mountain warehouse and it is fleece lined and it does have quite a good grip so when the temperatures are below zero and it has black ice even snow i prefer to use my boots it keeps me really nice and warm when i wear this i don't feel the need to double up on my socks but if i do have on my regular trainers that's what we call sneakers um i would double up on my socks so my next item um just a note for kids just because it tends to rain a lot during um the season as well i have their wellies so their rain boots so i would frequently check the weather up so every morning that is like my routine to check the weather up before we leave for so I would know what to expect and how to dress them. So rain boots has also been quite helpful for my kids. Um, I don't really dress them in rain suits because they have their coat and their hoodie and that tends to be sufficient. So next <clears throat> we move on to household items. Oh, before I forget while I'm typing I have these I found these were so cute and sometimes my fingers get so cold so what I do I have these if you didn't watch my video of my office space setup so in one of my drawers I have these so it has a hole for my thumb and I just pop them on It is so very helpful to you know keep my hands warm i love these so much before i move along um some hand warmers i found were really helpful i have not bought them just yet um because i didn't feel the need for them but they are disposable in one use so they stay warm for a few hours so you could just have them in your pocket once you rub them it activates whatever um, mechanism inside of it that keeps your hands or produces heat so it keeps your hands nice and warm i thought that was really useful as well so in terms of um home items and gadgets um before i came to the uk i didn't quite understand why people love tea so much <laughs> but now that i'm here i've become one of them i love tea and it just helps keep me warm especially during winter time i would find myself drinking tea more than water so one thing that irks me is drinking cold tea i absolutely hate cold tea so i prefer my tea to be nice and hot and to maintain a heat and when it is so cold 
everywhere just feels like a fridge so your tea would get cool so very quickly so my husband actually gifted me this it is it looks like a regular tea mug but tea mug that keeps your tea nice and warm it has a knob here so this is how you turn it on right and you are able to see the temperature of your tea so once you pour liquid in here it will tell you the temperature and the cool feature is that it connects to your phone so i'm able now to control the temperature of my tea and it keeps it holds that temperature so the standard temperature the highest it goes up to 65 degrees so once i configure the settings it will remain at 65 degrees no matter the temperature outside so i really love that it has a base so this is the base and you can see it is charging so just pop it on here and it charges so that has been the most exciting kitchen gadget that i got thank you so much my husband i'll post a link to the bottom in the description of this video so any portable heater i think is quite useful so just to save an energy bill sometimes you know you don't want to heat up your entire flat so i found this was really useful i actually have it right next to me at my office area and it does let me time so as soon as i put it on it already starts projecting heat and it seems quite powerful to me um yeah i definitely recommend this definitely a portable heater next i would recommend an electric blanket if you're one of those persons who like to feel warm when you're sleeping but i'm not one of those persons so my duvet cover is usually sufficient i have i invested in a really thick high quality duvet and i will link that in the description but my duvet and when it's really cold i would also use my fleece blanket so I have my fleece blanket the layer closest to me and then on top of that i will have my duvet so that seems to do the trick for me and i don't need an electric blanket but if you're one of those persons who hate feeling cool you can also invest in that next um just because of the season and mold I know a lot of persons do struggle with that depending on the flat that you are in um, not everyone will have that problem but just a few tips a dehumidifier machine would be ideal it is quite a bit of an investment an investment that I have not yet made um, I do eventually intend on investing in one but I got these I actually got this from home bargain so it has some beads on the inside and it has a filter here so um what it would do is to extract the excess moisture from the air filter it through and you'd see water collect to the bottom of here so it helps um in terms of high moisture um and just to control mold so i also would recommend this spray I think any mold spray works well this one works well for me I got this from home bargain as well and I was able to just spray it so we just see it around the windowsill so once I spray this and come back within an hour I don't see anything but I still just wipe so the mold it literally just eats away at mold so I definitely recommend a mold spray and in terms of combating mold i know we try to save on energy bills by not running the heater but at least once a day for an hour for me um once the temperature is below um six degrees outside at least once a day i'll run the heater um so it really just helps you know so that moisture excessive moisture does not build up because of very low room temperatures so that brings me to the end of my winter 
tips and gadgets um i would love to hear you guys what you would recommend um things that you would suggest what works for you during winter to help you you know stay nice and warm what things you are uh, must haves which you cannot live without so do let me know um do like this video if you thought it was helpful share subscribe and until another video i'll see you guys thank you for watching and bye